as the cardiac muscle of the ventricles contracts, it increases the pressure of the blood within the ventricles. Eventually, this pressure is so great that it exceeds the pressure in the pulmonary trunk and in the aorta. This forces the semilunar valves to open and the ventricles begin to eject their blood. However, if the pressure of uh, the pulmonary trunk and the aorta is higher than normal. It will take another split second before the ventricles can increase the pressure of the blood within the ventricles uh, to a point great enough that uh, the semilunar valves can open. And so high blood pressure delays the openings of the semilunar valves and therefore less blood is ejected during a cardiac cycle and more blood will be left uh, in the ventricles afterwards. So this afterload increases. Uh, stroke volume decreases with high blood pressure and afterload increases because there's more blood left in the ventricles afterwards.